Good afternoon. I'm over here. Oof. Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back. It's a miserable rainy Saturday here in Ontario. Seems to be the norm lately. But tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, tomorrow is Mother's Day. And as usual, well, I got nothing. We are going to build a potato bin. Potato slash onion bin. Anyway, we're going to put some vegetables in it. Because I'm tired of looking at them on the counter and she wants a vegetable bin. This is what we're gonna make it out of. This here is one by twelve, eight feet long. It's barn board. I've also got a, another piece there and a, another piece around here somewhere. But that's about all I'm gonna need. I'm gonna make it about 30 inches tall, a little slope roof one. I already picked up the hinges and a couple of knobs. We're gonna get this cut out, get it put together, and uh, give it to her for tomorrow. Nothing like rushing. Nothing like waiting until the last minute, right? No pressure. We got this. Let's get going. All right, we got our back and two sides cut. Decided to go at 28 inches. Just because. Well, maybe 27 and 7 eighths. I don't know. We're going to go with that. What we got to do now is we got to cut our angle for the top. Actually, we're up here. Yeah. I got our angle for the top. And we want it to come down to 24 inches. Four inches off of here. That line right there is going to be our top, our, our little go on top of that. I'm going to draw out the other one and then we'll get them cut. Alright, now that we've got our sides cut to 30 inches on the top, sorry, 28 inches up here, angled down to 24. Our backer is 28 inches. I got my countersink bit on here minus the bit, so we're just going to use this piece here, not a big deal. We're going to countersink a few holes, and we're going to screw that on, and we got our holes countersunk all the way around. You would have all seen that, but this dummy forgot to push the record button. It happens. You would uh, think I would learn to clean one project up before starting another, but there's the excitement in that. But the easiest thing to do here would be set this in the vise as opposed to me trying to hold it. See what I mean? Isn't that easier? It's like having another set of hands. Normally I get done a project before I figure something like that out. So I will consider that as me being ahead of the game. Or may not run into a bit of a problem here with the angle of this and the flatness of this. I probably should cut that all the way along, but we're going to wing it and see what happens. Of course, we normally know what happens when I wing it. All right, we got that one on. Back ends on. Alright, now you can get a bit of an idea of what we're looking at here. We're going to put a bottom in this. And then we're going to put another shelf here. This door will open. And the top will open. This will be potatoes, this can be onions. It's kind of looking like the uh, wood duck boxes that uh, Farmer and Paul and I were making. It's exactly what that looks like. Think she'd be mind if we turn this into a duck box? I'd say there's only one way to find out, but I really don't want to find out. Bottom shelf is cut. We've got to go 9 and 7 eighths. Next one's going to go 9 and 7 eighths. You see we've got to cut this off in the front here. Not a big deal. We're going to trim that off right now. Then we're going to screw the base in. That way we keep everything a little more solid. Then we'll get that mid shelf in there. I think we're ready to put some doors on it. Or top. Hope we don't run out of wood. I hate when I run out of wood. And we do the same on the other side, then we got our bottom installed. Alright, so here we are with our base installed. I think it all looks pretty good. Staying nice and square, which is uh, a rarity for me. Now we'll get our six inch piece. See 
see what we did. So this is part of the thing that bothers me about buying wood. So this is one by 12 barn board. See how thick that is? I mean, it's, it's nice to work with. It's rough cut. This here too was one by 12 barn board. Not the same thickness. Look it. Hard to get good wood nowadays. Once again, a uh, slight change of plans. If you've been around the channel long enough, you know that when I start a project, it usually goes six different ways from the way it was originally intended. This is no different. This here was originally screwed on to the front. I really didn't like that. So I moved it inside. Now we're going to screw it on the inside. It makes things a little more flush, a little more uniform. So we're going to get that screwed down, and we're going to move on to the next piece. Well, I think that looks much better on the inside there. Much, much better. A little bit of a bow out here in the middle. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that other than it's warped. But we got to get another piece put across here and a shelf put in there. Got uh, one screw in the front on each side here. The distance between here and here is 8 inches. So you put your vegetables in there, you can reach in and grab them. There's no doors on them yet because I'm, again, not sure whether I'm going to put a door on it or not. But I got to get the back level so we're going to measure down from the top. Get that leveled in the back with the front. Then we just got to put a little piece across the top here so that it's got a lip. Everybody likes a little lip here and there. Oh, I just showed it to the boss. She likes it. She did inform me that we are going to need doors. Reason being is if we put the onions in here and the potatoes and or onions and potatoes, it doesn't really matter. Onions are toxic to dogs and we got three of them. So they will need a door. So rather than go buy another eight foot piece of barn board because who knows what thickness it's going to be when I get it this time I got a piece of plywood here I'm hoping to be able to cut the top with the camera up so everybody can see it <laughs> the top no door and a door I think we put a door where the onions are it shouldn't be a problem the dogs won't be able to get into that so Alright, for the sake of time, as I quickly ran out of daylight, it's pushing probably 11.30 p.m. I'm going to put this piece of flat plywood on here. This will give me something to screw the hinges to. And it'll either work or it won't. Hopefully this will all make sense in a minute. Alright, so here's the idea. We got a flat across the top. We're gonna take this piece and it overhangs an inch each side. And our top, which we're gonna cut on and obviously gonna come down on an angle, will open up that way. You think? Maybe. Just maybe. Alright, for the sake of time, as I quickly ran out of daylight, it's pushing probably 11:30 p.m. I got the top cut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this down, put the hinges on, put a knob on. I'm going to have to make a door front right here. But anyway, that's all I got for tonight. I'm going to go in and catch a nap or a big sleep, and I'll see you all in the morning. This is almost the finished product. Two onions. So your onions and garlic are going to go in here. You got a little bit of chicken wire on the front to keep the dog's noses out because it is toxic to the dogs, like I said. Potatoes in the bottom. I got to get that back outside and do a little sanding on it. But other than that, it's done. She likes it. It's supposed to look old. And it looks old. So I hope you're all having a fantastic Mother's Day. We're going to finish our day off with, you guessed it, a barbecue. It doesn't get much better than this. Ribs and chicken. That is going to be our Mother's Day meal. Along with some salads, of course. Again, I hope you all are having a fantastic Mother's Day because we are.
I am not going to be rude and force you all to watch me eat these delicious chicken and ribs. So, I'm going to cut this video off here. Again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I hope you're all having an awesome day. See you on the next one. Later.